The issue of abortion is one that has been dealt with, discussed, and voted on for a long time, especially in the last 45 years. In 1973, the Supreme Court of the United States issued a ruling that legalized abortion in our country. Life is sacred, and that is why I feel so strongly about this issue. My proposition is that I believe that Roe v. Wade should be overturned. Here are several of the reasons why I believe so. The first is that I believe that abortion is murder. I believe the Bible backs this up. Psalm 139, 13 says, For thou hast possessed me, possessed my reins, thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. It turns my stomach to think of the disgusting practice of ending the innocent life of an unborn baby when there are often better alternatives to that. I believe the best alternative to that would be adoption. If you do not want to have your pregnancy, you should put your baby up for adoption rather than abort it. I believe more people should step up to the plate and adopt if that works out well for their family. The second reason why I believe Roe v. Wade should be overturned is that science has proven that life begins at conception. The first heartbeat can be heard within the first seven or eight weeks of the first trimester. Dr. Paul Rinaldi, who is a doctor in Toronto, said the following, Unborn babies feel pain during abortion. At 20 weeks, the fetal brain cells present in adulthood, ready and waiting to receive pain signals from the body, and their electrical activity can be recorded by the standard EEG. Supporters of abortion rights claim that abortion should be legal because women often need them for if the case of they're raped or if there's incest or if there's a danger to a mother's life. There's several problems with this theory. First, most if not all pro-life politicians believe there should be an exception if there's a serious danger to a mother's life. That's not a controversial position, but it is a hard decision to make. In 1987, a woman named Pamela Thibault was pregnant and she had a serious problem with her pregnancy and doctors recommended an abortion. And she declined to do it and gave birth to a baby named Timothy Richard Thibault. As many of us know, Tim Tebow later went on to become a sports legend, becoming the first sophomore to win the Heisman Trophy in 2007 at the University of Florida. Second, 1% of all abortions that are done are done for the reason of rape or incest. And 85%, up to 85% of pregnancies that occur due to those unfortunate circumstances, the pregnancy is carried out and the person chooses not to have an abortion. The fourth reason why I believe Romy Wade should be overturned is that the supporter of abortion rights say that an unborn baby is not a human being and that it's basically a clump of cells. That argument is also not true. This is what an unborn baby looks like in the first eight weeks. You can see it fits inside a ring there. By this point, you should be able to hear the heartbeat. You can start to see that it's starting to form by 10 weeks it's grown, and you can see that it fits into, into your hand. Mm -hmm. wow. By 12 weeks you can see that its features are, are, are even more formed, and it can fit even more into your hand. And by, by 20 weeks it's basically almost fully formed, it seems. By this period, most doctors recommend that you do not have an abortion, but Sadly, there are a lot of people in this country who think it's, it's okay to have that legal, to have an abortion after this period. You may wonder what this map is. This map shows which states in our country would consider it a double homicide if a pregnant woman is killed. These 27 teal states would mandate that if a pregnant woman is killed, the, the offender would be charged with a double homicide. The states that are pink, green, or yellow have similar laws but are not quite as strict. The gray states have no such laws. If in, say, New Mexico, a pregnant woman is killed, it'll be just a charge of a single homicide against the accused. <clears throat> also, if an unborn baby is not a human being, why did Planned Parenthood get caught selling unborn baby, abor aborted baby body parts? In 2015, a group called the Center for Medical Progress, an anti-abortion group, filmed undercover videos of Planned Parenthood employees matter-of-factly discussing the sale of unborn baby body parts. A 
fifth and final reason why I believe Roe v. Wade should be overturned is that it would return the power to the states to make their laws on abortion. Recently, voters in Alabama and West Virginia voted to enact restrictions on abortions in their respective states. If Roe v. Wade is overturned, this will continue and there will not be the possibility of the courts stepping in and striking down the laws as unconstitutional under the 1973 ruling. In conclusion, there will continue to be a lot of debate on this issue until there is a change to the 1973 ruling. My hope is that more people will realize the horror that is abortion and will vote to elect politicians that will enact pro-life policies. I stated that my proposition is that Roe v. Wade should be overturned. I believe that would be the best decision for our nation's moral well-being. Okay. Good job, Matt. Yeah. All right, Matt. Wow. Okay, that's a good argument.